Okay, so what have I got rolling right now for... We have do vote is true. Let's just make sure we got a simple command line. So we hit play. We are going to auto detect file path. So we are looking for The path is dashkin slash playlist underscore config.json. So the playlist is there. We parse that and we add all our playlists in our playlist thing. All right, so we've got default, standard, party, sticky ball, and custom as our playlists. Do we actually find it? Yes, we find our playlist. And we set our active playlists to our starting playlist. All right, so we have how many game modes, default, no contact, pop-up only. Super SS jumps is default config true, is default config false. Okay, so it looks like it has the right playlist, so we need to go to get next game mode. So we're loading up our configuration correctly. There's that's happening. Let's make it so we can vote to start with. Yeah, learning to program is real tough. Like, I know the school I went to had 500 total students. The graduating class was like 80. So the drop-off for engineering and programming is massive, a massive cliff of people just not wanting to, not wanting to do it. Maybe that's different for non-game programming because maybe there's more tourists that are like, Oh yeah, I I want to program. I like games. I want to make games. And I'm like, God, oh, Jesus Christ! I I actually don't want to make games. Okay, so we have our modes. Our active playlist is Sticky Ball. We have our default modes, which is three default modes. Default modes for. Sticky ball and super sticky ball. Option sets. You used to recommend programming to everybody, then I realize most people just aren't cut for it. I don't know, it's because I don't think you need to be particularly smart. Yeah, true. I'm. I think the uh, kind of the stereotype that programmers are good at math is total bullshit. <laughs> it's, it's it's really not true at all. It's just it, it's a different type of thing. It's like being able to visualize math as opposed to like liking doing like theoretical equations or some shit. 
and it's all linear algebra, which is more real world algebra. So instead of dealing with crap like calculus, because your computer's not doing calculus for any of this shit, it's doing linear algebra, which is just dealing with real world things. Like, okay, this thing is this big and it's geometry. And I wish there was more of that than, I mean, like learning calculus in high school is just like a big fucking waste of time. If we had learned linear algebra, I think that would have gone more into, but I don't know. That's me biased. Calculus probably goes more into actual physics. And yeah, that was kind of the other thing in college that was true was what, what we basically said was there are people who get pointers and there are people who don't. And you know, there, you know, that shirt of there are two people in the world, those understand binary those don't um it's it's really pointers who uses physics these days anyway it's true it's true the parang nobody Okay, so we have these default modes. Include default modes, true. Okay, so. Yeah, I was looking at this wrong. Okay, so we're in sticky ball. We'll have three default modes. And so always in rotation is true. So we're always going to have sticky ball and super sticky ball. And if we have those default modes, then what we're going to do is... get random game mode from our playlist otherwise we're going to make random options from our random option set list Let's make shaders. Let's call the bugs easier to be done with. It's true. But I think it's definitely that the concept of, for programming, the concept of indirection is incredibly important. Like being able to, it's the same thing with like Plato and treeness, right? It's like you're looking at a tree, but your brain doesn't say, you know, you're looking at this specific tree. It's like you're looking at the idea of a tree. And that's what you think. You don't think, oh, well, there's something big and, you know, spiky and green over there. You're thinking, oh, that's a tree. You know, I recognize this pattern of whatever the fuck this thing is in front of me. And that's what your logical processors are saying. And if you can't separate reality from like, well, a tree is, you know, a whole collection of blue and, and green and brown and whatever in this sort of form from... The idea of, well, there's that thing over there, and it's classified as tree. And memory allocation. That's another thing, is that it changes, like, being learning how to program changes a lot of how you think. You become a lot more logical, and... As you become a lot more logical, you become more of an asshole to everybody because you realize that what they said isn't what they mean. And then you can you can say like, oh, well, you know, 
did you mean to say this or that? And they're just like, come on, dude, stop being a douchebag. Of course I meant the thing that meant that I wasn't a retard and things like that. So we have this sticky ball set and we're never going to actually pick our special modes here is what it looks like. Um, and our custom options aren't going to be used either. So probably what I want to do here for this is change the playlist configuration. Um, default modes, we should have four set limit of that and we should probably include false for the default options. We're seeing a documentary about a disorder where people can see objects but their brain doesn't understand what it is. Yeah, that's what's kind of the thing is that's like um I think they were able to fix people's vision. Yeah, are those trees or are they goat man? And um like I think there was the thing where they fixed this guy's vision. He had been blind from birth and they were able to, you know, go back and fix his nerve or whatever. And, you know, he was describing, he's like, well, I, I can see things, right, but I don't know what they are. So he was saying, you know, he'd be looking at a sidewalk and he'd have no idea if the sidewalk was two feet in front of him or 10,000 miles away. His brain just does not, it doesn't compute. You know, it's just like... It's like I just don't know what that is. I can't I can't process that. Alright, so triple jumps, double jumps. So if we set the default, include default options, include default modes. So if we include the default modes, I think we'll want to set it to false. We'll include default options. We'll set that to false too, so we have to use our custom modes here. So we never want a default mode. This is the sticky part. You can learn structures and learn words, but you can't connect the two. So we want options. Super jumps. This is kind of how we're, we'd configure this. So we want super sticky ball as well. And we probably also want like a multi ball. And let's set this ball number to like 10. Make it real stupid so let's see what we roll here we should have super sticky ball and sticky ball always in there sticky ball double jumps sticky ball multi ball double jumps sticky ball multi ball double jumps that's looking correct um, so there should be 10 balls for this one Ball number 10.
Oh my god, the character is so slow. <laughs> That's as fast as I can walk with all these things. <laughs> I can't go any faster. I'll get them. I'll get them all scored. <laughs> That's a lot of particles. Oh my god, he's so slow. I mean, he's moving so slowly that it's not actually playing his walk animation. He's just floating along the, the ground. Come on, buddy, you can do it. You got two minutes to get to that goal. <laughs> nope. <laughs> there we go. I got ten goals. Excellent. And what do we roll? Sticky ball, multi-ball, double jumps, everything. All right, so it looks like that's working. So what we're going to do is we need to make sure this is working in a packed build and a, a build with a dedicated server. Uh, easiest way to do that is just to pull up last night's build, honestly. So whatever's on test, actually. Why don't we just... Set that up. So, if I snag my server key here, delete these guys. Download both the server and the client. Oh no, my download folder. So what I want to do is I've got this playlist config here. I want to change everything inside a sticky ball to this stuff. And let's run our setup bet. So game name, we call it uh, my game. 
Default time limit 120, score to win 5, 3, 7, 7, 1, 6, 6, 2, true, true, 1, 2, 3, 4, false. Uh, we're going to use sticky ball and start on sunny day. So that's our server. Now we need to install our client. So I've got a nightly build that goes on. So this is what was built yesterday, or I guess early this morning, since it's 11.30 PM here. So let's run this guy, and let's also run our server. So if we if we run our server, can't find file name, test levels, prototype, GL sunny day. Ooh, all right. That's something I need to fix. So our setup.bat is pointing to the wrong file path now. So it's gotta be in scripts, server, setup bat. Yeah, this is now inside of um, gameplay slash levels, I believe. So let's take a look. Um, discovering telemetry, we're fully connected. Cannot find test levels prototype GL sunny day. Well, that's because I'm an idiot and I edited a file that I'm not actually using because I'm super smart. Initializing listen server, external profiling, fully connected online, uh, you're off server channel, 777 blah. All right, it's browser games. My game is now online, is running default game mode. So let's join it. If you log in for player, see what this thing is saying. Uh, let's do our admin challenge and the match. Okay, this is not look like it pulled up our changes because these should be like other things. So why not? 
what did our server like what are we looking for here we're looking for the playlist argument so setting playlist 2 is what we should be seeing Attempting to log in, kicking off login. Okay, so unable to find playlist by name sticky ball using default. All right, loading server config from that. No extra playlist configuration data found. Okay, so that's obviously what's going on is we are not finding our playlist configuration. Auto detect file path. All right, so. It's looking for Dashkin. So our search paths, so get current executable directory. Base directory is binaries win64. So it looks like we're just not finding our playlist file in production for this guy, so... No extra playlist configuration data found. Well, this is also kind of annoying because our, to make a dedicated server package is kind of a giant pain in the ass because I got to build it out. So I can add in some debugging here, but what I really should do is just change the setup to tell this thing explicitly where to go. And that's probably a better way to When you do this, so 
So we go to our setup.bat file. So the other thing we need to do is we need to actually tell our game servers that are running in production they're also going to need this same command line going on. So I'm going to need to actually change the command line here and go mess with the watchdog. <clears throat> so let's boot up our server and... Let's add our command line argument here. All right, so that should write our playlist path in there and should make it so our servers pick it up now. All right, 
so I need to test that this works. Playlist config loaded. Let's see, where is that? Playlist config file path is Brackensack server playlist config successfully loaded. Setting playlist to sticky ball. The active playlist is sticky ball. Well, let's boot up our client and go connect to it. So that's my game. It's on the sticky ball playlist, which is correct. And let's go ahead and end our match. Sticky ball, sticky ball, sticky ball, and super sticky ball. None of the above. I don't want to play any of these. Alright, we got double jumps, super sticky ball, triple jumps, super sticky ball, multi ball, double jumps. Let's make sure multi ball has the 10 balls. This is just multi ball with double jumps. All right. Okay, so that was what was wrong with um, all this stuff. So what we can do is we can verify that we have all of it fixed then. Let's make sure we can actually build this thing after we change that file util to help us out with a bit of debug information. Oh, I actually have an error. Yep, I needed that star. God. And talking about programming stuff earlier in college and all that, just I have so many memories of people in college that I hate. And it wasn't just me who hated them. It was everybody. And I think this is true for every college experience, every school. Is, like, I, I think there was something that changed with when, you, when people went from high school to college and you show up at college and like you think you're hot shit and it's like a whole new environment and you want to prove yourself and everything. And people who are real stupid socially, they think that they, they're going to prove that they're smart by asking 
as many important questions as they can. And real obvious shit, too. So, like, you know, a professor will be talking about something, the you know, person raises their hand, and then basically says, you know, like, well, does this mean, you know, like, obvious conclusion and obviously what the professor is going to talk about next? The professor is like, yeah, you know. Yeah, this yeah, this is just a good point. That's what we're it's like oh, shut the fuck up. Nobody likes you. So don't ask don't ask stupid questions. Those are those are stupid questions. Questions where you're just asking a question to have air come out of your mouth and people think you smarter than you truly are. The other thing is that cinematic actor has a scene node, and I'm getting a bunch of angry messages about it. Where the hell did I put the objects? There we go. I mean, there was one time, oh man, this one guy always asked way too many questions. Called him Hat Kid because he wore a stupid hat every day. Everybody knew who he was. Even if you didn't know, you could always say, oh yeah, Hat Kid. And they're like, who? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, we call him this. <laughs> but he asked an actual relevant question one time, and the professor stopped, and he's like, you said something useful. <laughs> and, you know, the guy is not the brightest. The brightest star in the sky. Um, so he didn't get, you know, immediately that the professor just completely insulted him. And the professor stopped for a second, you know, and he's like, ah, oh, shit, did I just say that? And they just turned around and kept teaching. He's just like, ah, oh, fuck it. You know, this guy's a douchebag, so it doesn't matter anyway. Though nothing tops the, the math teacher getting pissed off in the morning because nobody was paying attention and nobody had done any work. Like, you know, it's like, hey, okay, turn in your homework. And, like, nobody in the class except for, like, me and one other person actually came up and handed in our homework out of a class of, you know, like 15 people, so not many. <laughs> it's just two pieces of homework. And then after five minutes, like, the professor just throws up his, his hands and, like, knocks his water bottle over and just rage quits. He's just like, you know, you, you bastards don't want to learn anything anyway. Just knocks it over and leaves. Just... So let's make sure there's no more uh, warnings in the log there. Nothing tops that. That was the best moment. I mean, when you go to these stupid small schools, like especially programming game school, you know, there are people that think running like Naruto is cool in real life. You know, the ninja run where you throw your hands out behind you and you run like an anime character. Let's just say people do that unironically, and it's it's just sad. It's just really, dude, really. All right, so cinematic actors are spawning. We can't see them, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so that looks like it's all working properly then. No more warnings. So let's check those things in, build the server, deploy the server, and then make sure our playlists are actually getting picked up on our test environment. And we did call that playlist path, didn't we? Yes, we did call it playlist path. All right. So I need to go build things. People at your college you went to ran like Naruto? Yeah, there was a dude that um, 
Some people called him L, and other people called him Tweak. <laughs> All right, so we want to build the Java server, and we want to sync the tools config. Yeah, and like the thing is, um, if you ever saw Death Note or whatever, you know, L is that character. He sits like a fucking chipmunk in his chair. You know, he like, you know, like he he puts his feet on his chair and his legs up. You know, and sits like that and types like this on the fucking keyboard. Like the dude actually did that. And everywhere he went, he would run. Like just. Just flat out, you know, balls to the wall, running like a like an idiot. And and you know, you know, he run across the street too. You know, there'd be like a sidewalk twenty feet away, and he wouldn't go to the sidewalk. He'd just like run across four lanes of traffic like a freaking weirdo, like like Naruto all the time. It was just like. What sort of fantasy world goes on in that guy's head? But yeah, that guy that guy did that. And it was a school that was based around group projects too. So yeah, you know death. <laughs> it was a school based around school projects, so but it wasn't like school projects in high school or something where, you know, you have to work with some douchebag who doesn't care. Uh school projects in college where you get to pick your teams and if you don't if nobody wants to work with you, um, nobody works with you. Like, so if, if everybody hates you, like it's college, you know, like all the people who are hated by everyone else ended up on the same team because there was nobody left for them to work with. And those people always, they hated each other too, because you know, like socially awkward people don't like other socially awkward people. They're just, there's a reason. And it's usually they can't look in the mirror and see see that. So all these people who were just like the weirdos all ended up on the same team. And they all just hated each other. Man, it was great. Because you'd sit in, you know, these big-ass um, you know, hundred computer, computer labs. And people would be sitting on their respective teams. And there's, there's always drama going on, right? It's always people getting pissed off at each other, but their team was just constantly shit talking each other. It was really good to to like go sit behind them because you just constant laugh track. So I'm waiting for a server build right now, just watching it. And then we'll deploy that. To test. Do we have a game server on test? Did I toast that thing? If I did, I just I need to bring it back up so I can test out the deployment. Yeah, okay, so the Linux dedicated server and test environment is off, so let's go turn that guy back on. We're using AWS for our dedicated servers in test environment. So I gotta wait for this thing to come up. It's a Linux box, so it should be just like 30 seconds or so. Certainly some strange folks, yeah. I think there was a, a Rolling Stone article on DigiPen. Let me see.
Nah, they don't they don't have it online anymore. Oh wait, maybe they do. Oh, it's you can't the link is broken now. Uh, but basically, uh, there was a Rolling Stone article about the college, and the cover of the article had these two guys that were hauling around trash bags, and the trash bags were full of magic cards. <laughs> it was just like this giant hit job on this school for freaks and weirdos. And I gotta say, they're not wrong. It's probably better now, but... Maybe not in a good way. All right, so we want to deploy the Dashkin game server to game test. Because one of the things that was actually really good about DigiPen was that some of it was just so stupid and bad that, like, the first two years actually taught you decent programming and all the people there wanted to learn and wanted to make games. So that was good. But after the first two years, the quality of the education went straight to hell, and you ended up basically just, you know, skipping out on all your classes and just working on your game projects, which was really the best education. So if they improve the quality on everything, they might actually have worse candidates, because <laughs> people would actually do their more programmatic schoolwork, which is probably not as good. It's just sitting your ass in a chair and just programming. Adam's working on a, what, a sprite texture for some feather nets or some shit? I don't know. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, he's doing math. He's doing math. It's... Yeah. Digimon isn't... Yeah, um, it's in Redmond, which is pretty nice because it's right there next to Microsoft, and a lot of people who graduate get jobs at Microsoft. All right, so we've deployed our game server to test. Now we need to deploy our latest to test. So that's going to go do that. And I just got to wait. Yeah, when I was going there, it was 500 people. It was half of the upstairs of a Nintendo warehouse. I know they now actually have a campus. And, like, when I was there, you know, it's an active warehouse. So when the trucks would come in, the floors would shake and all that sort of stuff. And the place smelled awful. It just smelled like wet dog and nacho cheese, which is not a good combination. Because in the parking lot, there was a 7-Eleven, and that 7-Eleven was the highest grossing 7-Eleven in the state. It's probably not anymore because they moved, but, you know, there was no food around there that people in college could afford except for, you know, like 7-Eleven. So you've got 500 people whose main diet primarily consists of spicy bites all occupying the same upstairs of a warehouse in big open air areas that are not super well ventilated it's gonna smell like like bad it's not gonna it's gonna be bad let's just say that and i am blessed with not having a very strong sense of smell 
So that's that was a good thing. All right, we're uploading the deployment to S3. I mean, it, it's it's kind of a good thing to in in some ways, yes, it was unpleasant, it was stupid and all that, but it's also in some ways very good training for reality that you know like okay i need to get the hell out of this college you know i need to do my schoolwork and you know i need to bathe and be a proper you know contributing member of society otherwise i'm going to end up you know in the upstairs of a warehouse teaching these these fools or something like that So there's, there's something there about having a bit of motivation and reason to get the hell out of the, your current situation. All right, so we're currently uploading our deployment. I'm kind of show some of this at least. Because I don't think I spit out anything super crazy on this one. The silver lining. Yeah, the thing that I really, really hated about that school is the outreach that did not exist. So in a normal college, if you're trying to get an internship or something and you're skilled and you're like, you're there in the summer and you're just give me whatever the hell, you know, I'll go over to India. I don't give a shit. Just go find me like a real world internship. Um, most of the time, if you're not some complete screw up, You'll get something, or they'll help you find something. But DigiPen did not help me find anything. And that really pissed me off, because when I was in the industry later, and we actually had some spots open for interns, I actually called up the school and was like, hey, you know, I've got three internship positions. They're all paid in San Francisco, you know, 36 bucks an hour, 40 hours a week. You know, get these guys... We need three good people, and they couldn't give me any names. And I was just like, are you for real? Like, here we go with, there's an internship, it's available, it's full-time, full pay at Electronic Arts in Bioware, making social games, you know, with, this is, this is not, this is not a bad, this is not a bad deal, like, this is better than most people's career after 20 years doing, you know, underwater basket weaving. They're not going to be making 36 bucks an hour. And this is back in 2000, you know, 12 or 2010. You know, this is right after the housing collapse and everything else. Like, you're lucky to have a fucking job. <laughs> All right, so that dedicated server deployment is out there. Yeah, exactly, Kento. That's that's the thing. Is like, I get pretty salty about some things, and one of the things that I get pretty salty about is lazy engineers, because both of my brothers have had a much much more difficult time in their careers, and they do more work. And you know, I when I grew up, I was in high school. I worked at a I worked at a grocery store for three years and you know you see people that are just blasting their ass and making you know peanuts Our playlist config is equal to our server config? Did I screw that up? Ah, oh, Jesus, I did. <laughs> 